Hello everyone, uh, welcome to EliteWave-Focus.com uh, This is Henry and uh, today is Wednesday, October 30th and the time is 2 a.m. GMT approximately so um, the FEDS meeting is gonna be on Wednesday uh, US Eastern Time and uh, it will be, it could potentially be market moving with regards to US dollars and indices and pretty much all the asset classes um, so today we are going to be looking at the chart of the DAX and uh, this is a German index, it's a 45 minutes chart we can see a bullish sequence stem, right side stem is still green meaning we do still like more upside okay but uh, of course with this chart calling for just marginal high like this doesn't make sense to be trying to buy it at this point because it is close to ending a 5 waves up from here you can see this is a wave 2 right here and this is a wave 1 uh, so this is going to be ending a wave 1 of 3 if that's the case uh, and then after that we can get a pullback to correct this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to correct the entire 5 waves up in a zigzag ABC okay before the next leg higher again can happen as far as this level 11877 uh, is holding okay so still remains bullish now uh, so that's the uh, that's the short term, right? That's the short term. Uh, the more interesting um, look is the the longer term, right? The longer term is what is really interesting at this point. Now let me show you a couple of interesting thing here with the indices as a group. If we take a look at the larger degree on the daily, the tax. Now again for a complete count you can always check um, uh, the the charts inside the member area we have 14 days ray trial uh, so you can join our service for free and get an idea what we are doing okay in the service now you can see here on the daily chart of the tax we got two levels two lows here uh, first is uh, December 27 secondary lows is August 15 uh, since then we continue to make a, a new high right it, it broke all the previous high so it's a higher high and uh, now we are quite close to reaching the 100% from August now if you look at the one hour chart this wave 2 is 11877 <coughs> so 11877 is I think is around this area here so this is your wave 2 so this is your wave 1 somewhere around here alright and then we're gonna be ending with one right here right this is based on the one hour chart here uh, ending with one of three so you're gonna have a with one of three and then after that a pullback like this two of three and then continue to go higher again as far as uh, this level is holding in the first degree right this level now the more important level of course is this level instead of with two is this level is the more important level because that is the that is the pivot before the tax breaks the previous high so this is the more important levels right here <coughs> now you can see that right now we got two sequence right if you look at the sequence from the August 15 this high high sequence here now this is almost reaching the 100% which is always the minimum right if we trade we don't want to speculate on a big move I mean basically the conservative target is always going to be the 100% we are pretty close to reaching the 100% which is 13,080 more or less right 13,080 so we are close to reaching the minimum target from August 15 uh, so that's why chasing this last post higher is not really a good idea uh, now w once we do hit the 100% from August there is a potential we can get a, some sort of reaction especially with the Fed coming we can get some sort of reaction you know through rate. now the reaction remains to be seen how big or how violent the reaction is but uh, we are still uh, based on this bullish sequence stamp and the right side green stamp we are still favoring the upside because we are uh, trend traders right we don't pick the top we are trend traders so we're still favoring the upside now if you look at the sequence from last year 
uh, you also got another uh, sort of a high high sequence from here right you got a high high sequence uh, and if you measure it from here again the minimum target is going to be around 13,600 in which you got this equality right here all right so if you measure it from December then it still has uh, more upside but if you measure it from August you are close to reaching the minimum right you're close to reaching the minimum so what could potentially happen is uh, again uh, once you reach the 100% from August you can get a reaction but then overall structure of the index from last year remains favoring the upside because the 100% still higher at 13,000 600 approximately right so for that reason that's why we're still favoring the upside the right side up in bullish sequence uh, since the sequence from last year seems incomplete now having said that a couple of interesting thing is again it it's I mean if there is any surprise here in the market is the idea that we may not extend to a full hundred percent from last year and then after we end this hundred percent from August if there is any surprise which is not really in the base the base case uh, then uh, you know we can for example truncate on the third swing on the DAX and then starts to you know correct this entire move or even worse you know starting to reverse completely now that will be a surprise that will be a surprise but for now uh, this cycle here remains incomplete that's why we are favoring the upside but this cycle from August almost finished now because it is almost finished from August 15 we got to be a bit careful in trying to chase uh, because then uh, you know we never we never could uh, know 100% what sort of reaction we can get now uh, if you look at the SNB the same thing can be said look at the cycle from August which is the same from in the tax is from August here right this is almost reaching the 100% or in the case of SNP if you look at it from August this one also almost reached the 100% same around 3050 3060 it is going to hit the 100% now on top of that in the SNP on top of 100% from August you also have this two year trend line from January 26 that always caps the rally in the SNP in the past two years right it has already it has almost always kept the rally every single time so that's why you get a hundred percent from August you got a two-year trend line so you probably most likely will see some sort of reaction again we don't we don't like selling it we don't like picking the top here guys there is no bear sequence uh, for us we are trend traders we need we don't like picking right we like uh, trading trading with the trend but I can see the possibility here we can see the possibility in which uh, we can get some sort of reaction once we hit this area here right now it any in the case of the SNP uh, it really needs to break above this uh, you know to sort of uh, give the bulls more uh, more confident and uh, credibility that it may continue to extend higher again right in the market so like going melt up until the end of the year but SNP right now as of today is already uh, more than 20 percent right the return is more than 20 percent it's already at the upper range if you look at the historical return of the index so it's also questionable question mark uh, are we gonna get another 10 percent till the end of the year or are we just gonna be chopping around uh, sideways or are we going to get a big pullback it remains to be seen but the tax still uh, at this point continue to be supported from December okay so it could be in the case that the tax may be outperforms on a relative basis to S&P it's also another possibility but again it is a hundred percent here it is a trend line two years so uh, some sort of pullback makes sense right some sort of pullback makes sense and and then we need to see what sort of pullback are we going to to get here so we will soon see the kind of reaction from this area is it a, a you know a strong reaction lower or is it just a, a you know another gentle sort of pullback of some sort now if it is a gentle pullback from here 
it will be a gentle pullback from here as well and then at least in the case of the DAX this sequence looks incomplete therefore still favoring the upside for now okay guys so uh, hopefully this is um, uh, helpful and uh, if you guys like uh, the video you can uh, like and subscribe our channel and uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow okay have a nice day everyone